Hello friends, welcome to this vlog. I don't know if this is going to be a day in a life, I don't know if this is going to be like a weekend vlog, um, but obviously Tyler's video will tell you if it's a weekend vlog or a daily one, but it's a beautiful day today. Although it's a bit overcast, so I don't know if I should go for my walk soon. Um, but I also just did my skincare, so if I sweat, I'm going to be extra sweaty. I went for my first run yesterday, and I feel really good about it. I'm currently using the Couch to 5K app. This is definitely something new for me, but I'm going good for the most part. I'm going to take the dog for a walk. You want to go for a walk? Let's go! I need to put on my running shoes before we go. You're now going to put your harness on. Yes, I'm putting my shoes on. Where's your harness? Go put your harness on. So the reason why I am vlogging today is I want to tell you guys each habit and practice that I have implemented in my new way of life, would you say? I've completely changed my life when it comes to health, fitness, motivation, personal life, everything in between by doing these 10 habits. I just thought it'd be a good idea to share these with you guys and help you guys navigate your way into your new lifestyle as well. So my first habit I want to talk about is snacking on whole foods. Try to avoid packaged foods. Um, so snack on things like fruit, veggies. I love snacking on bananas. They're a good source of fiber. Bananas are actually really good to have before a workout. I like to have a banana before I do cardio or hit. Just so I've got something in my stomach so I don't feel faint or I don't have too much in my stomach that I feel like shit when I'm training. My second habit is find your preference of when you want to train. Personally, I like to train at night and go for a walk or a run in the morning. I think it's because my body is so used to training at night from aerobics. Some prefer to train in the morning as it sets them up for the day, makes them feel good, put them in a good mindset. It also depends on your commitments like work and life, whether you train first thing in the morning or late at night. Find skincare that matches your skin type and include products that benefit your skin. Learn what skin type you are, search online for products that suit your skin and your skin type and Bob's your uncle. You are looking flawless. There are so many websites and stores that will help you navigate what you need to be using as well. I know Adore Beauty has a little like quiz to do. Um, even places like Sephora, Mecca, Priceline, all those shops that store skincare, there are people there who know what they're talking about. So if you do, uh, if you are having issues or trouble finding what you need to be using, feel free to ask them because genuinely it's better to ask than just assume and then have a massive episode with your skin. Have a minimum three step night routine. Three particular things that you do every single night before you go to bed to give your body the cues that initiate relaxation and just switch your brain off. Take advantage of body weight exercises. When I first joined the gym, my whole mindset was the machines. Yes, machines are useful and they can and they can utilize different body parts, but your body is your own machine. These last two weeks of my training have been all about body weight exercises. No dumbbells, no medicine balls, just this temple right here and it has been just as proactive as it would be on machines aim to go outside every single day go for a walk with a dog plug in some headphones or some airpods listen to music or a podcast go for a walk with the girls sit in the sun and read i love doing that you need your vitamin d and it can also be so calming to hear the trees and just breathe in that fresh air that was really dramatic but you get the gist this is one that i never did but I literally do every single day. And that's taking advantage of your breathing cues. Especially for those with Apple Watches, there is a cue that goes off, I'm pretty sure it's six times a day, that tells you to breathe for a minute. Do them. It just brings you back to earth and just gives you the chance to just calm and de-stress. Listen to podcasts. Podcasts 
have literally changed my life. The only time I listen to music is when I work out. I listen to podcasts in my car, on my walk, on the Stairmaster, when I'm cleaning. They are literally the way to my soul. And I hope to start a podcast one day. That is one thing I want to do, is start my own podcast. Putting it out there. I'm manifesting. Give me a podcast. And my very last habit is buy yourself an emotional support drink bottle, as they call them. Find a drink bottle that inspires you and influences you to drink more water. I prefer a straw. I find that drinks with a straw, like tumblers and like the Frank Green drink bottles or the Hydro, no, the Hydro Flask don't have straws, do they? I don't know, I don't know one. But any drink bottle with a straw is a way to my heart. I drink an easy two liters a day, literally anywhere. I got mine from Cotton On. And it's quite literally a Frank Green dupe, kind of, kind of not really. But it has the straw to find a drink from. Get yourself an emotional support drink bottle. That's my number one habit. So I hope those habits really helped you and they definitely did help me. Um, if you guys do like these kind of things, like sit down old school YouTube videos, please let me know. Just give this video a like and I will do more of them. Um, and if you are wanting to see more project transformation, like I don't know if I want to make it a series and show you guys what I do each and every day, please let me know. It is a few days after this has all been filmed. I have not picked up the camera since then. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. I'm ending the video here. Just because I didn't film a lot of the rest of that day. Just because it wasn't really vloggable and wasn't that exciting to film. I'm really enjoying vlogging at the moment and the videos I'm uploading I'm really happy with. But I need to end this video because I want to post it today. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. And I would love for you to subscribe. So make sure you do that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.